Hey, what's up, YouTube? So today, this is one of the irons. This is the rear iron from the uh, 13 b rotary from my RX-8. Remember the engine I was taking apart? The one is gonna be for grabs. So this iron is ready to rock and roll. I already clean it. Stay tuned, because in this video, I'm gonna show you how to clean it. I'm gonna show you how to leave it so flat, like you don't even need to lap it anymore. This technique, uh, like high-end shafts, like like the big timers, like the big guys, the ones that have been on the business for a long time, they will t they won't tell you this. Even people online, people on YouTube, they won't let you know uh, cheap stuff where you can use to clean it, so you don't have to go through lapping, so you don't got, have to send it over, so you don't have to resurface, so you don't have to re-nitride, gas nitride. And um, all you need is a wheel. I don't know how it's called. I'm gonna put them a sanding or cleaning wheel. I purchased this at Walmart. I've been using it for years. Um, seems to work. First of all, you have to wash the iron. You have to clean it. Clean it with this thing right here. It's not a sandpaper. It's some type of a plastic thing. But it's very really good. I've been using it for years. A grinder. A air tool or. A whatever it works mine is uh it works with 90 psi up to 25,000 rpm i use this one for parting or polishing you can go ahead and even use your drill don't worry about it as long as it's don't matter what rpm as long as it spins this little bad boy right here but i pay well like four dollars for it that's how much i pay for it at walmart let me show you the end results you're not taking any material off Look how it looks. It's almost close like if you resurface or like if you lap it. Again, you don't need to lap it. You don't have to resurface it. If you resurface this piece, you have to send it to re-nitride. And good luck trying to find a shop. On top of that, those, shop, those shops, like where I send them, they charge me by pound. This one itself is 25, 20, between 25, 28 pounds, I believe only for this bad boy right here so yeah on the video you also uh, saw that I was pouring right here polishing I wasn't opening the only thing I was doing it was smooth, uh, getting this uh, the area or the edges smooth and then remember I told you guys this RX-8 uh, makes carbon the carbon builds up right here and this is what cracks your apex seals so I make sure I sand it down I kind of poured it, no, not pouring, I polish it a little bit, I polish it, so it's polished, so it will have let's say like 70% less carbon build up right here. If you guys don't remember, go check out the other video, I'll show you the carbon build, it was all the way filled right here, it was full of carbon, so you're going to see in the video how I did it, see the edges are smooth. I did not open it, I only clean it and kind of polish it. And this one also too on the edges. Only on the corners are right here along here. So I got everything smooth. And then about polishing, about pouring, you can do this one too. It can go all the way down around around here. This is as far as I can go. Like you guide on this one right there. So it'll be up and down there. But this is not my goal in here. Uh, let me show you this side right here. You can see the silver clean part where I posit the magic disc on the bottom part is not clean yet. Uh, again, I'm pouring this one is nothing you can do because this is a sleeve to remove it. You need have to remove these two pins right here, here, and remove this lift, so there's nothing much you can do. On the intake side, you can always open this one more, open it, or even um, clean and polish inside, so you can have that smooth surface inside, so better airflow. So yeah, that's the technique I use. Uh, you guys should try it out. Don't worry about it. 100% works. This one is done, let's move to the next one.
So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. You feel free to talk shit on the comment below. If anyone is in rear iron, this rear iron is good to go. I already passed the straight edge. I'm not gonna do it because I already show you guys how to check with the straight edge. You put in four port, four points, one here, one here, here, and here. Make sure you gauge. Not even the uh, one, two, or three, three uh, mils go in, and you're good to go. Thanks for watching. Next video is gonna be cleaning this uh, housing. Seems it's gonna make it. So let's see. So I have that one there. I have some more down here. Uh, this one here waiting. All those on top over there, they're ready. This one right here is my recycle. A uh, bunch of rotary parts under there with someone dumped some pistons in there. That's the dowel pins in here, the uh, tension bolts. All this is trash. I have a flat wheels outside, oil pumps, timing covers, oil pans. All that is trash. It goes to the recycle because I don't reuse it. Why? Because on this one, I have the press on the other side so I can make the holes bigger, make the uh, put the studs. Uh, that's about it. Oh, I also have flat wheels. What I'm gonna be doing on this one, I'm gonna cut a piece off. I'll be doing a flat wheel stopper. So that's a little prank I have. So, yeah, stay tuned. Thanks for watching.